When I first got the call, I was like, oh, they're crazy. This isn't going to work, you know? A robot can't do what a human can do. So many times in the past I've painted and really put my heart and soul into a mural piece only to come back the next day and it's gone. It kind of frees me up to take bigger chances and just do something that's cool and get a picture of it. <laughs> I think an artist's style goes back to what they've experienced and what they've tried out. When I was 13, I started seeing the graffiti in the neighborhood, and I was like, what is that, you know? I try to leave everything up for grabs when I'm creating art. You know, to just react to, to what I've put up with the paint cannon and the sprayer. They're not really easy to control, and that's part of the fun. I put something up that's blue, that's black, that has a highlight, then it needs something over here. So I throw something over there. The robotic arm can do things I can't do at all. It can draw super precise. When I saw that, I was like, oh my god, man, it's, it's a robot. I do the messy, crazy, off-the-cuff, random stuff. I really didn't know what I was gonna get. Even this morning, I didn't know what I had going on, you know? I love that about art making, is embracing the unknown. I'm the first artist to work with a robotic art car, and it's really cool.